Hello everyone, this is Orange Tree Productions here and right now I have the Samsung B110 feature phone for review today. It was originally released back in May 2008. It has a 1.52 inch 128 times 128 pixel screen and it's a very basic feature phone meant to compete with the likes of the Nokia 1000 series. It has a very nice rubbery keypad and on the left, we have the proprietary charging port, like this one. A year later, most of Samsung mobile phones will have shifted to micro USB. Right side, nothing. Top, nothing. Bottom, nothing. The back cover is quite interesting. The Samsung logo as well as the website address, they are not silk screen, but I don't know how you call that method. But they are printed in a very different way than what most manufacturers usually do. And when we remove the back cover, we get access to the 600 mAh battery rated at 3.7 volts, made in China, standard mini SIM slot. Very basic phone, it has no camera whatsoever. So let's turn it on. Okay, so we are now at the home screen of the feature phone interface. You might not be able to tell it from here, but it does combine a few elements from the late 2000 Samsung user interface as well as a few elements from the early 2000 Samsung interface. We have call logs, phone book, applications, alarm, maximum tree, messages, There's about one megabyte of memory here that cannot be expanded via micro SD, which makes sense since this phone can't really play anything other than the built-in ringtones anyway. Okay. Nothing. Very little space. Network. Sound settings. Phone settings. We have five wallpapers on this phone. Actually, four. So this was definitely from the Singapore and Malaysian markets. Okay, so let's take a look at the ringtones. There are no games on this phone as far as I know.
So that's about it for the Samsung B110 feature phone. It's a very basic phone, just meant for calls and texts, and nothing really that much. No frills phone, 2G only. And that's about all I can say for this phone. By the way, I'll be going to Kyushu from tomorrow onwards. I won't be back here until next Saturday. So hopefully I'll be able to get some good videos from Kyushu and I'll see you in the next video.